Hey, I'm Srini, the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. Have you ever felt completely overwhelmed by the sheer volume of notes that you have? Do you ever wish that you could just ask your notes a question and get the answer? Well, today we're gonna make that wish come true. In this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how you can use collections to put your notes to work for you and transform MemChat into a powerful tool that can not only understand and help you synthesize notes, but help you generate ideas from your notes. Now, let's get to the tutorial. So what I want to do in this video is go over how you can use collections to maximize the efficiency of MemChat and the accuracy of the responses that you get to your prompts. That's something I realized last week as I was going through the Archipelago of Ideas tutorial, which I published last week here on the YouTube channel. I actually made things a bit more complicated than they need to be. And then after going through that tutorial, I actually started creating collections and I noticed that MemChat ended up giving me much more accurate responses when I put notes into collections and just referred to the collection in my prompts. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna go over how to create a collection and then go over a couple of examples of how you can use your collections to do something like outline an article as well as use collections to plan a project. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is create a collection and there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. So the first thing you can do is you can go over here to all collections and you can create a, a new collection. And because of the fact that I've added hashtags already into the post that is the outline for this video, there's really no need to do that. For example, right here, I have a collection titled Cal Newport article, and you can already see that because of the fact that this has this tag, it's become part of the Cal Newport article collection. But another way that you can actually do this is by adding notes to a collection. So right now I'm working on a new update to the Maximize Your Output with Mem course. So these are all transcripts that are part of my course, and I'm gonna have MemChat help me analyze each of the transcripts. So what I can do in this case Case is I can just select all of these transcripts and then add them to a collection that is called <coughs> course module updates or course transcripts. So if I do a search for a transcript, you can see here that I have a MYO course module transcript collection. And if I do that, <coughs> they will all then get added to a collection. So that's another, the, another way we can do this. And it also works the same way when you go and use search. So let's go back to the outline here for the tutorial. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a collection for this article titled Exploring Cal Newport Books. So I'm gonna search for a couple of different terms that I know are related to Cal Newport. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the term deep work. And we'll see what comes up based on that. And based on whatever your search results here are, you can go here and you can actually add each of these to a collection. So I'm just gonna start adding these different things here into the notes for this article that I'm gonna be writing about Cal Newport's books. And I have a couple of different notes here. You can see I have one on uh, deep work with Mem, the elements of deep work, uh, and then basically have a, a bunch of different notes wherever the phrase deep work is mentioned. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add these to a collection. Uh, and you can see here, it gives me the option to add these to different collections. So rather than search within a collection, what I wanna do is I wanna add these to a collection. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna search for the collection we created called Cal Newport article and I'm gonna add all of these notes to the collection Cal Newport article. So that's one search term that I can use, but Cal has a couple of other books that I have notes on. So I want to do another search and this time we're gonna search for world without email and see what else comes up. <clears throat> so I know that I have notes on his book, A World Without Email. You can see here right now, it's not giving me search results that are online, but I'll go ahead and pull my podcast transcript with Cal Newport here, as well as uh, a couple of other notes. So you can see here, Cal Newport's book inspired my uh, idea of uh, a book about Mem called The World Without Folders. But I wanna do another search here. And so I'm gonna add another search term, uh, which is gonna be the hyperactive hive mind, but we'll go ahead and add these to our Cal Newport article collection. And we'll do one more search, so that way we have a few more notes that we can add to this collection and I'll just do a search for the term hyperactive and whatever notes show up will add to this. Basically, we're gonna say, okay, the hyperactive hive mind kills productivity and then 
any other notes that I have basically about this idea of the hyperactive hive mind, and I'm going to add them again to my Cal Newport article collection. And now, if we go into that collection, what we'll see is that we have all of the notes inside of the Cal Newport article collection, and I want to go here and view all. But one other thing that you might want to do is look at the recommended section. So you can see here that it actually has a bunch of notes that you've already taken that actually might make sense to add to this collection. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and add these as well to this collection. And so let's go ahead and add this one to the collection of Cal Newport's article. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the prompt that I typed out already uh, inside the video outline. So let's go back to the video outline. And we're going to go ahead and move this over here. And now we have this prompt. And we've already titled the collection. So that way MemChat knows exactly what we're referring to. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut and paste this prompt here. And I'm going to go back to my home screen. Home screen and I'm going to go into chat. And I'm going to basically tell it, use the notes in my Cal Newport article collection to generate a post. So you want to specify that it's a collection because, again, with any AI tool, the more specific you are, the better the results are going to be. And so this actually helps make things very specific. Until you can add uh, bidirectional links or the actual tag for the collection inside of uh, chat, you really want to make sure that you nail this because even though it does a pretty good job when you're not specific, the more specific you are, the more accurate the results are going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to just have chat create this outline for us using the collection. And if you give it a second here, you'll see that chat is generating an outline for us based on whatever notes are in that collection. So the great thing is it's actually using those notes in my collection and it's actually bringing in additional notes as well. But the fact that I've already created a collection makes it much easier to generate a more accurate outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and do, so this is something some people have noticed about or memchat responses is that if you mem it, it loses all the formatting. So I want to go back to the actual article and just put this there. And so that way, we basically have the formatting retained. So just by going through the simple steps of creating a collection, adding all the different notes that you wanted inside of the collection, we actually got a much more accurate output than we would have if we would have said, hey, write a new article about Cal Newport exploring books or write me an outline. So just by adding all these notes to a collection, we got a much more accurate response in terms of helping us outline this article. And if you would have done it without the collection, it's possible that you would still get a pretty good outline. But I find that this is a much more efficient way to do things. And we're not just limited to doing things like outlining. So another thing that we can do is we can actually create project plans. And so right now, one of the things that I've started outlining with the help of MemChat is this ultimate guide to MemChat. But I also know that I have this collection called MemChat, and I want to actually create a project plan. And the other thing I can tell it to do is I can say, apply my second brain project template. And it will actually apply whatever template you have inside of it, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and copy this prompt here. And what we're going to do is we are going to go back to the home screen. And I'm going to just paste that prompt right into there. And to create, you can see here again, we're very specific. Use the notes in my mem chat collection to create a project plan for publishing the ultimate guide to chat mems do AI assistance. So again, we have to be very specific with the titles. I was very specific with the title of the collection as well as the title of the mem that I wanted to reference. At a certain point, apparently, we're going to be able to add bidirectional links here. But since we can't do that yet, the more specific you are, again, the better off you're going to be in terms of the response. So let's have it go ahead and apply all of this and see what it comes up with. And what you'll notice here is that sometimes it's going to take a little bit longer, and other times it'll be shorter just depending on the complexity. So you can see here it's actually helping me to do this, and it's coming up with this idea. So this isn't perfect, but 
it's a like idea here based on whatever my template is. So I can actually tell it to update this with the specific tasks and reorganize it. So one nice thing about this is <clears throat> that we don't want to necessarily have to uh, iterate, but we can just have it do one iteration. So let's just have it do a revision here and say revise this and add a table of contents for the guide and tasks to complete. And you can see here it's giving me an objective who my audience is. It's giving me the sort of outline here. And it's actually going to give me tasks as well as give me an outline here in terms of the table of contents. OK, so you can see here that it actually mangled this for some reason. So it basically gave me tasks to complete, but it didn't really give me a table of contents. And so what I'm going to tell it to do is add a seventh header. and use titles of notes in the mem chat collection to generate a table of contents. So the thing that you will notice here is that everything is based on whatever information that you're giving it. So I have a second brain project template. And just based on the way that template is organized, it's actually determining what kind of output it should give me. Most of the time, it comes up with a pretty good outline. So you can see here that it actually basically came in and used some of the notes that I had inside of the MemChat collection, but it didn't use all of them, which is something that I haven't been too thrilled with. But that happens occasionally. But at least it gives us a starting point. And now we basically have a project plan for the ultimate guide to Mem's ch new chat assistant. So I want to do one more example here. As I mentioned to you before, I have this transcripts collection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have it use a transcript. Well, you can see here, I said we could reduce iterations with collections. You can see here that even with this project plan, we had to go through a couple of iterations. But if we weren't putting these notes in a collection, we'd probably have to go through a lot more iterations. Let's do one more prompt here. And I'm going to say, based on, based on the notes in NYO course transcript module transcripts, can you suggest a list of a few ways that I could improve the content of my course? And because they're all in one collection, it actually will make this much faster than if I were trying to cut and paste notes. And again, your mileage is going to vary with this. It's because that's just the way AI works. But you can see it gave us a pretty thorough a project plan for the other things. So you can see here, OK, so you can see here it's actually asking me if I want to enhance the course structure, the content delivery, engagement level, or something else. And so I'm going to just say, OK, why don't we talk about how do we make this more engaging? And so the nice thing is it's actually going to reference the actual transcripts within the collection to do this based on whatever content is in there. But the great thing is you can see here that it's actually telling me to make things interactive. And it's actually pulling from my knowledge base because I actually have notes about all of this. Um, and so now what I could do is I could take all of these different things. And I could say, OK, for example, it says, give me an actionable outcome. And so what I can say is, OK, you know what? Generate actionable outcomes for each of the transcripts. Uh, or each transcript. So let me do that really quick so we can see what happens here. Funny enough, you can make spelling errors. It's just when you reference specific things, you need to make sure those are really accurate. And now you can see that it can actually help us do that 
So you can see here, it's actually referencing the actual content of each of the modules. So here it's actually referencing testimonials. And so you can see here that it actually got things right the first time. But keep in mind, the thing you want to notice here is I said in module transcripts, and I didn't specify the exact title of the collection. So it actually just took any transcript I had without necessarily going to the actual collection of transcripts. So that's the key to actually using collections inside of Mem with MemChat to making MemChat much more efficient. So just to recap, the first thing you need to do is you need to create a collection. You can do that by searching for keywords and then also add any recommended additional notes to the collection. You can use collections for outlining an article. Uh, you can do it for planning a project. And this really helps you with reducing iterations. The other thing we can do is we can actually merge different collections together. So for example, if I wanted to, I could merge MYO course update with the transcript collection. Now, keep in mind, the thing that you want to be mindful of is that these collections actually make sense contextually. For example, course update and YouTube video wouldn't make sense to merge. And one reason I like to merge collections is that it keeps things fairly clean. But according to MemChat, having notes in multiple collections can actually make it work pretty well. By using collections, what ends up happening is you increase the efficiency of the responses you get from MemChat, and it becomes much more effective as a tool. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.